Now, listen, I want to start today and just talk about our globe-trotting Prime Minister. Prime Ministers generally going overseas haven't done themselves any favour. We know that. Anthony Albanese is now en route to China after his trip to the United States. He's enjoying some reasonable press over the Washington visit and he spent plenty of time with Joe Biden while he was there. Now, the problem, like many Prime Ministers past, is... Is he starting to believe the hype? Here he is, kind of bigging himself up a bit on Insiders this morning. I, I think uh, both China and the United States probably see Australia as playing a role. We're, we're a middle power. So uh, an, in, an in between? Well, we're a middle power. We're clearly, uh, our allies uh, is very clear. Uh, we have an alliance with the United States. We're a strategic partner with the United States. Uh, but we're also a player in the region will host uh, ASEAN leaders in March next year and uh, I think that uh, Australia's word is very important. Right, so if I want to ask you about this to start off with, this is all about image and impression. Mm -hmm. Plenty of Prime Ministers past literally have changed their personality in office because they do things like this. Mm -hmm. They go and see the, prime, uh, the, the President, they're hanging out, they suddenly think they're a player. Mm -hmm. Is there a danger that Anthony Albanese, after he's lost the voice vote, loses touch with Australians because he's now thinking that he's more important than he necessarily is. Well, Ross, I think at the moment everyone is so worried about cost of living. We know that's what everyone is talking about. The voice failed. He's out of the country now. People really want him here on the ground talking to us and about the issues that are impacting us. But ever since the voice has happened, he's pretty much left the country. And so people, I think, will be questioning, why is he constantly overseas? I know he has to do this, but there are so many issues here at home. He seems to spend an awful lot of time away, and I think Australians would be questioning how much he is abroad. OK, so, Paul, you've just come back uh, from Mildura mm -hmm. uh, in the, the, the magnificent um, Riverina, you know, area. Gorgeous. Were the people up there really talking about uh, Albo and his trip to America, or were they talking about other things up there? Yeah, geez, well... Um couldn't care less. Uh, every conversation was about petrol, food. It was all about cost of living. And the reality is, is that the oh-so-smart overextension of dunking the ball on the former government meant that they thought that cost of living was the way they could finally dunk the ball uh, and the final promise was cost of living will be better under a Labor government. There was no asterisks, no ifs, no buts. And the reality is it's all worse. It's all demonstrably worse for middle Australia, regional Australia, yes, Minimum wage earners, yes, union members, a couple of improvements here or there, but essentially, um, and including things like, and I, I love, I've got to say, the dynamic here about the Australian media that I always bang on about is how they will, they are so obedient to what the Prime Minister's office says <laughs> is the story, right? And that's because they like the Prime Minister who's there, all right? Which is why you can't possibly ask any domestic questions while I'm overseas, despite the fact that inflation, while he was away, yeah. went up again. You'd think, OK, Prime Interest Minister... Are about to just, go up, right? just, just on this one, right? The Australian dollar, as you know, down the best part of 10 cents in 12 months. The yeah. result is anyone importing anything to the country, which is most people who buy things are importing the country, it all costs more. Does this ever come up as a story? No. Instead, literally, and I'll make mention of this again a little later tonight in my own show, instead, the press gallery has already begun their Get Dutton revenge tour yeah. after The Voice. The reality is, is that when you become the Prime Minister, you have to be across everything, which means you don't have the laser-like focus of when you're an opposition leader and you're playing with expectations. That said, he set his own expectations for his own administration and he's failing them because normal people couldn't give a stuff if it's... Albo, Scott Morrison, Julia Gillard going to the White House. Yeah, yeah cool, whatever. Pine Gap stays open. Yeah. But what have you done for me lately? 